kind of interesting, I hope. I think you can appreciate the fact that we have lung over here. You can see nice, well-ventilated alveolar spaces. I think you could see a bronchus. I could think you can see an artery. And I think you could see uh, the pleural surface of the lung as well, or the visceral uh, pleura. In addition, however, there is very considerable thickening of this layer. Uh, normally, it's just a few cells thick, and here it extends all the way from here to here. It is though the visceral pleura and the parietal pleura were fused into one big fibrotic mass. And if you look uh, even deeper to the uh, parietal pleura, you'll see some tissue out here that doesn't look like fibrous tissue at all. It's classical skeletal muscle. I think you could see perhaps striations. And if you can't see striations, you could see the fact that these fibers have nuclei oriented towards the periphery of the fiber. So this is classical skeletal muscle. I think you might be able to see some striations right here very subtly, like I can. And you could see perhaps these are uh, intercostal muscles, which are fused by virtue of connective tissue with the parietal pleura. This is fibrous tissue now, wavy collagenous bundles and fibroblasts. And the parietal pleura is fused with another uh, basically uh, fibrous tissue structure, which is continuous with the uh, visceral pleura. And here we have uh, lung once again. So this is a fibrous adhesion in which the visceral and parietal uh, fibrous surfaces are fused. Uh, it's not very specific. It occurs whenever there's inflammation in the pleura due to any cause, whether it's a pneumonia or a pleuritis. And like any other uh, acute uh, end stage of acute or chronic inflammation, it may very well end with fibrosis. So this is a pleural adhesions, a pleural adhesion, which is pretty much synonymous with pleural fibrosis because it's all the same process. And just let's just take one more bird's eye view of the whole thing before we say sayonara. There's lung, there's a visceral pleura, there's parietal pleura, and there's the part of the parietal pleura which is attached to the underlying uh, skeletal muscle. Uh, I, it could be diaphragm, I guess, but I think most likely this is an intercostal muscle. It could be any skeletal muscle, however. So uh, thank you very much.